It's story time. It's story time. Es hora de el cuento. It's story time. It's story time. Es hora de el cuento. Hi, welcome to Story Time Express. Our September 19th is Talk Like a Pirate Day. So we thought it would be fun to have a story time all about pirates. Our story today is Pirate Pete Talk Like a Pirate. Written by Kim Kennedy and illustrated by Doug Kennedy. Arr! Pirate Pete's Talk Like a Pirate. Pirate Pete had the most amazing ship ever to sail the high seas, but he needed a crew. Not any old crew would do, however. I need me a pirate crew, Pete told the parrot. And I know just where to find one. Rascal Island. Right, to Rascal Island we go, cried the bird. Pete spun the wheel toward the sea of mischief and soon his speedy ship had reached Rascal Island. Pete dropped anchor in the bay and then he hung a sign across the ship's bow. Buccaneers wanted. Before long, a boat filled with rascals rowed up to the ship. Pete rubbed his hands in glee. They were the dirtiest, most mischievous, and sneakiest looking scallywags and scurvy dogs he'd ever laid his eye on. One by one, the rascals climbed aboard the ship. Listen up, ladies, announced the parrot. What? If you want to sail with Pete, then you've got to prove you got what it takes. Pete nodded and declared. You need a peg leg and an old eye patch, a fierce looking hook, and a beard you can scratch. You's got to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, you's got to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete. And I see you've got a peg leg, a hook, and an eye patch. And that beard of yours, does it hanker for a scratch? It is quite itchy, answered the man. Especially during the summer when the weather tends to be sultry. Blow me down, bellowed Pete. You don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the man splashed overboard, Pete hollered, You should have said, when the sun's a blazing, me beard gets a itches worse than a bucket of sand down me britches. Next, ordered the parrot. Pete squinted at the rest of the rascals and said, You's got to be stubborn and mighty cranky. You's got to be dirty and awfully stanky. You's got to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, You's got to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete. And I see you're plenty dirty and stanky. But is ye stubborn and cranky? Oh, indeed, replied the rascal. Sometimes I'm very irritable, especially when I don't eat my breakfast. Shiver me timbers, shouted Pete. Yes, don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the rascal went overboard, Pete cried, You should have said I'm as mean as a shark that's stuck in the tub when I've not scarfed me morning grub. Next, squawked the bird. Pete glared at the rascals and said, You's got to love treasure. Why, it's your duty to plunder ship and shore for gleaming booty. You's got to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, Yes, got to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete. And judged by the gold and the rubies you're flaunting, I reckon you've done some plundering in your day. That is correct, said the rascal. I've misappropriated a number of fine jewels without permission. Blind me, cried Pete. Yes, don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the rascal leapt overboard, Pete shouted, You should have said I pilfered loot on land and sea, and no man's a say so has ever stopped me. Next, blared the parrot. Pete shook his head. He had finally lost his patience. He curled up his lip at the last rascal and declared, Yes, 
got to trim the sails and mind the deck. He has got to be brave in case of a shipwreck. He has got to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, he has got to talk like a pirate. The rascal walked forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete. But is you brave? Cause no lily livered seafarer is gonna sail with me. I can assure you I am very courageous, said the rascal. I will conduct myself with valor at all times. Confound it, shouted Pete, stomping his foot. Yes, don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the rascal dropped overboard, Pete yelled, You should have said, I'm not a yellow belly bone from me head to my toes. I'll stand brave upon the ship wherever she goes. Can you believe it? Pete moaned to his parrot. Out of all them rascals, not a one of them was fit for me crew. Tis true, squawked the bird. By the powers, there's no more than a bunch of squiffy so sprugs. None of them fit to go a swashbuckling and plundering for pieces of eight upon the briny blue on this here vessel. Pete blinked. Why, you should just talk like a pirate. He cheered to the bird. He's all the crew I need. Way anchor. Aye, aye, said the parrot, and off they sailed. Back to the high seas went Pete and his bird. A pirate always gets the last word. They looked for a cruise so they could hire it, but blimey, no one could talk like a pirate. The end. When I was one, I sucked my thumb. The day I went to sea, I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, We're going on this way! I tied my shoe the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard the pirate ship and the captain said to me, We're going on this way! And that way! And forward! And backward! Across the deep blue sea! When I was three, I scraped my knee the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me We're going on this way and that way and forward and backward across the deep blue sea If you're a pirate and you know it, swab the deck, swish, swish If you're a pirate and you know it, swab the deck, swish, swish if you're a pirate and you know it, then you'll hear the sea wind blowing. If you're a pirate and you know it, swab the deck, swish, swish. If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank, stomp, stomp. If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank, stomp, stomp. If you're a pirate and you know it, then you'll hear the sea winds blowing. If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank, stomp, stomp. If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy, ahoy. If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy, ahoy. If you're a pirate and you know it, then you'll hear the sea weeds blowing. If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy, ahoy. Let's make a paper bag pirate puppet. You will need a paper lunch bag, black, red, blue, and white construction paper, two googly eyes, a small binder ring, markers, scissors, and glue. Let's start with making his shirt from the pieces of white construction paper. Measure and cut to fit and then glue it on your puppet. Now add some blue stripes. Now 
Next is his bandana. From the red construction paper, cut one piece to fit the top of the bag and another piece that's long enough to fold and hang on one side. Now glue them both to the bag. After you finish the bandana, cut out a hat shape from the black construction paper and glue that on top of the bandana. Cut out the skull and crossbones from the white construction paper and glue them on the hat. After you have finished all of that, you can decorate the face any way you like. Have fun! Hi, I'm Little Blue and I have good news to share. Do you want to know what it is? Okay, I'll tell you. You can get your own library card. All you have to do is come to the library with one of your parents and fill out the forms. There are so many things you can do with your library card. They also have a lot of cool programs for all ages all year long. So go to your local library and start the fun. Let's watch the Little Blues show us how to be a kind friend by sharing, by being helpful, by taking turns and by working together. We hope you enjoyed story time. We'll be doing a virtual story time every month. And the libraries are having in-person story times each week. So check out your library's website for a schedule of events. Goodbye! Goodbye.